Hi Stamping Friends, I'm Karina with KarinasCreations.com and I want to share with you this really fun card I got from a swap um, made by Sharon Armstrong and she has a video on her blog but I changed uh, the measurements to make it a bit smaller so I'm going to do my own quick video. We made this cute card for my team meeting last night and I thought I would do a video so the girls who missed the meeting could actually make one at home. So the cute thing about this card is I thought it would be perfect for Father's Day and when you open it up it's a shirt card that says Happy Father's Day and I'm using the Guy Greeting Stamp Set. Now I love this stamp set because it's got so many great greetings in it. It's very versatile. So I'll show you very quickly how to do it. Now the first thing you're going to do is you need to cut your paper. So I am using a few pieces of paper. Um, I'm using basic black cardstock, which is cut at seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter inches. I'm using a piece of the typeset designer series paper, which is five inches by four and a half inches. And I have a piece of whisper white cardstock, which is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then just a new, just a scrap of paper. And this is the brand new color called Water Watermelon Wonder. So I love this color. It's very pretty. So to make the outside of my card, you need to grab your envelope punch board. And on the envelope punch board, how I got the measurement was if you look down the row that says card size, I want my finished card size to be four inches by four and a half inches. And then it tells me that my paper side needs, needs to be seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter inches. And the score line I need to use to start this off is three and a half inches. Now, because it's a square card, this is a little bit easier than normal. And I'm just double checking. Yeah, it is three and a half inches. Okay. So three and a half inches is right here. And then I'm going to punch. And then I take my scoring tool that comes with the envelope punch board and I make a score line. And then after that, all I'm doing is lining up the score line that we just made with this little pointer, score the score pointer guide on the envelope punch board. And I'm just gonna repeat on all the sides. And so I'm not even using the ruler anymore at the top. I'm simply lining up the score line with the pointer. And I'm just gonna do all four sides. And that's basically it. So now I can put my punch board away and then I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and I want to cut off the two smaller triangles because we don't really need them for this project. So grab my paper snips. If you don't have paper snips, you need these. They are fantastic. And I'll turn the other side and snip these off. And that's it. So this basically makes this the outside sleeve of our card. Now to cut the designer series paper, I want to use this side on my card. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to grab a pencil and make sure when you're putting this down that you don't, you do it the wider side on the five inch side. And I'm just lining this up on the edge, taking my pencil and I'm just making a pencil line to trace around the shape of my flap. And then I will quickly cut it zip 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 and I'll cut all the way around. I like this typeset designer series paper. It's very light and I love all the patterns in it. And then I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back. Now I'm using fast fuse and to use a fast fuse you really need a light hand. You do not need to press hard for this product. If you press hard it's just going to get all caught and then when you're done you just give it a gentle flick at the end or a gentle check mark if you want to call it a check mark and then what I'm doing is I'm just going to put this down the designer paper on my flap so it looks like this and you can see if I need to do a little bit of trimming to get it to all line up I will so it looks pretty there we go snip that too. Okay, that's done. And now to get the other side, I'm actually putting it, my fast fuse adhesive on it as well. If it needs, sometimes it needs a little help to get it going again if you didn't check mark it properly at the end. 
So you just give it a little push with your finger. And again, very light pressure. If you press hard with fast fuse, you're going to get very frustrated with it. Otherwise, it's fantastic. Now, to put on this last piece, you can see I'm putting it, it looks like I'm putting it upside down. But there will be enough paper to cover it. Okay, then you flip it over. And give it a little snip. Now watch what happens when I close it. So you can see I'm missing a little piece here, but that's okay because look, the other side covers it up and then your pinstripes pr pretty much line up. That actually looks really good. Okay, now we're gonna work on the inside of the card. So the inside of the card, I need to grab my uh, scoring my paper scoring tool. And I'm putting this side at the top. No, I'm gonna turn it this way because I want to cut in one inch from this side and one inch from this side. So I'm gonna line this edge up three quarters of an inch. And this is my scoring blade down here. So I wanna go in at one inch to the one inch mark this way. And then I'm gonna flip it over. I'll go to three quarters of an inch on this side and do the same thing, go down at one inch. Okay, now I've got this, and what I'm doing is making the shirt collar. So I can grab my scissors and cut off about a quarter of an inch from each end. Or you can just line it up with your paper scorer again, and just pull it down, and then get that little piece off. And then I'm going to line it up on this side, and then go from the bottom. If you don't have... Um, a paper trimmer. This is one of the best products I think Stampin' Up! sells. I absolutely love this product. Okay, and now what happens here is that when you fold your two points together, you can see how it makes this really cute shirt collar. And I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive down to glue the flap shut. So there's my shirt collar. And before I do my bow, I'm going to grab the Happy Father's Day stamp from the Guy Greeting stamp set. I'm using Memento Black ink. And I love the photopolymer because I can see through the block, so I can really get this nice and straight. Not that my dad will mind. I'm sure he'd be happy to get any card from me. So there's Happy Father's Day done. And now I'm going to grab the Bow Builder Punch and our wonderful Watermelon Wonder card stock. And I'm gonna punch, you need two uh, two punch shapes to make a bow. So I'll just set that aside. And it really helps if you use a bone folder to curl your bow to get it, to help it get started. And then what I'm going to do is come in and use my glue dots. And I'm going to put a glue dot, I've got too much paper. I'm going to put one glue dot on this side. Pull it off. And then you can see you just bring the fold the edges up together like that. There's one little bow. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And there is the second part of the bow. I don't know what you call this part. And then what I'm going to do is take another glue dot and join them together at the center. The bow punch is really fun. And then this makes an outside sleeve, well I call it the outside sleeve, I guess it's the center of the bow and I like to put two glue dots on both sides. Now if you don't like pressing them against the glue dots you can always use your scissors and transfer the glue dots. So I've got two glue dots on both sides and then I'm just going to center this in the middle of my bow, fold the edges over. And that's it. Isn't that cute for a little bow tie? And then I use another glue dot again and I'm going to place this in my sleeve. Now if you want to have it up here you can. It, if you put it down a bit lower it helps uh, keep it in the card. But like I said my dad won't mind. He's not too fussy about my cards so that'll be cute. Put that there and then to make the pocket, again this was Sharon Armstrong's idea, super cute. I am going to take my fast fuse, put a little bit here on the back, and then I want to make a little bit of a kerchief, I guess, or handkerchief, and I'm just going to take a remaining piece of scrap 
and cut off a little triangle to make my little pocket and I will tuck it in behind this extra piece from the bow punch. See, isn't that cute? And then we'll just place it like so. And then to finish off the card, I thought it was really cute to use the um, silver basic metal buttons. And I'm gonna put one right there. And again, I use a glue dot. So make sure if you're making this project, you have lots of glue dots, you will need them. And then I put that there, and that's how you make the really cute uh, bow tie shirt card for Father's Day. So I hope you enjoy this video, and um, I'll put the measurements on my blog as well. Happy stamping!